this is Nikhil Jain. I'm back again with one of our another student with another success story this time. So this student happens to now study in Germany in one of the public universities and over to Kevin. So Kevin is studying as of now at Holshe Bonn Rheinschei University in uh, Germany. So first of all, Kevin, congratulations on your admissions and you're already there in Germany. So help us and the audience about when did you in your study abroad journey? Uh, yeah, thank you, Nikhil, for inviting me to this call <laughs> so that I can share my journey. So, like, I started in like uh, uh, 2020, like one year before, uh, around like October, and like I I gave my GRE in like October only, and then after like one or two months back, I gave my TOEFL exam, and uh, I think in the December uh, only, like 2020, I joined the foreign admits for my uh, full MS journey preparation. So like I, I received like for uh, I received help for SOP, LOR, university selection because uh, at, at that time I was like really confused which university to select based on my profile like which uh, like which because I I did my bachelor in electronics and communication and I wanted to pursue uh, robotics, uh, robotics and automation. So in that way, like foreign admits or mentors helped me a lot. They like narrow down the path, like instead of going to like, instead of applying to 15, 20 university, select only like uh, this uh, top uh, eight or like top seven universities and apply to that those universities only. So yeah, and then like uh, in January to February, I applied to like uh, most of the universities and I got, uh, I, I started receiving the feedbacks or like offer from like around April or May. And yeah, and yeah, then I selected my university around in June. And yeah, then I started my visa process and all. So it was like quite a smooth journey with foreign admits. <laughs> yeah. okay, that's, that's flattering. Not, okay. Not that much like roller coaster journey. It was like a smooth journey for me. <laughs> that's good, good to hear. So I remember you getting multiple admits, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. I see almost like ninety-five percent of admits. But like I applied to seven or eight universities, and I received like seven out of eight. So. Oh wow! Seven out of eight, you already got admits. Yeah, so yeah, you yeah. have a lot to choose, buddy. Then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> good. Good. That is where like uh, that foreign admits helped me. Right? Like, I was confused, like which, uh, like exactly where to go. And then like we uh, like set up a call and like we like uh, discuss point by point. Okay, in this university, this is uh, this is their course. This is their like uh, uh, like post graduation uh, like job offers and all. And and that way we like uh, like figure out which way university to go and which one to select and all. Yeah. So like if you discuss with someone who's already like experienced that. Uh, that phase then it's it's like it helpful for students who are like totally new to that phase got it no i think i remember having a call with you during i think uh post mentor conference and i remember that lost kid who was like you know all over the map and then we kind of narrowed it down to germany and uh to certain universities and seeing you right now it feels really great at least the mentor conference 1.0 was successful to some extent i got to meet you that way uh, so now a very important question for a lot of our students also, and this is something I always ask my students, like why Germany, let's say, why a particular country? Okay. okay. So like initially when I started in October, my, my, because I was giving GRE and all and like TOEFL. So my initial plan was to go to USA and do my master's there. And because like many of my friends are already there and my relatives are also there. But then I like, uh, I was, uh, my field, uh, I, I'm, I'm like more interested in like uh, robotics and automation stuff. So then I like, I discussed with, discussed with seniors and like foreign admits uh, mentors. So they told me that like USC is more towards like IT and computer science and all. But if you want to go towards like uh, robotics, and like uh, more towards like sustainable energy and like uh, renewable energy kind of, then you should prefer Europe over USA. 
so and the one of the best thing about uh, germany is that like in public university you don't have to pay any tuition fees it's like zero <laughs> like not at all <laughs> so that's the like the biggest advantage of studying in germany and the quality of education is like uh, it's like one of the best like you like right now i i am in my first semester and i already finished like a uh, two or three months there and the quality of education you will get here in german public university is like at top like it's like a premium kind it, it, you feel like you are in the premium university because the the professor experience of the professors the labs and their like phd students and all like it's like totally uh, really good yeah so that's why i selected because i applied to like netherland denmark germany and sweden and i like receive admit from all of them but then the 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 germany part like germany is like a totally free like uh, there is no tuition fee but in, if you go to like netherland or denmark or sweden they charge you uh, some like 25 lakhs or something for two years of program so then and the opportunity wise like germany is like europe's biggest uh, economy economy in europe so and that way, and and even if you finish your master degree in germany you can go around the schengen country yeah you can apply to jobs in any of the schengen countries so that's like the one of the biggest advantage of choosing germany over other countries nice no, i think you have described it in a pretty beautiful and exhaustive manner so people mm-hmm. who are aiming for europe they would definitely consider that way so uh, mm-hmm. now help me understand you told that you are going you went for your gre and your you know uh, english language test prep okay so how was your test preparation strategy like what did you do uh, actually like i already like appeared not appeared but i started preparing my college years but uh, like uh, my bachelors but then i dropped the plan and i i chose the like a uh, placement campus placement i and, like i worked for two years there <laughs> and then after two after finishing uh my two years job experience i again started my gre preparation so for me i i i didn't took any help from from like uh, any institute or something i just referred to the ets guidelines and that's it i just prepared it's like self preparation only because i already uh prepared for the gre in my bachelors so it was not like that tough for me so uh, yeah yes no i think that's a very good strategy also for a lot of students you know who are, you know obsessed about getting a coaching or getting an online thing and all mm-hmm. you, know, you can always also prepare on your own you just need to spend some time understand how it works and yeah. there are tons of resources outside also yeah, so yeah. help us understand how is the experience with the counselors at for not minutes oh okay yeah and i really i i i'm really frank about this it's like really they really help me like uh from the even the day one only they like uh we started like zoom call and like video call and, and even like on whatsapp they are like pretty much like they always uh replied within like one hour or two hours they always like most of the time so whenever i got query like oh okay i like i i want to apply to this university they have this requirements should i apply to them or not or like i'm facing this issue in my sop or in this lor template and all so they like always like help me with like they like even they sent me a template like you can uh, like put your uh, content in this way or remove this content it's not like a required or something so yeah yeah it was it was like pretty good experience for me nice i think that's and the only and the one thing that i really appreciate is the is the uh, like uh, response they, it's not like i i'll i'll, re- I'll text you two day and you will like give me reply after like one or two days or something so i really like that uh, that like close loop it's like a really quick response if i'm if i'm i'm stuck at somewhere and if you reply me like like within a like a one hour two hour something then it's really help right like i mean i'm i'm i was confused somewhere and you replied me with the solution so it's like really relief for the students absolutely you know that's very uh, important i get that mm-hmm. so you know germany is definitely free but then how do you do you plan to finance your education how was your thought process around that okay okay so for me like uh, i didn't 
I didn't take any uh, bank loans or like education loan or something for, because for me, my father is like sponsoring me for my entire like two years of uh, education journey. So it was like totally self-funded. I, I didn't take any loans or education loan from the banks. So, yeah. Absolutely. So you must have also tried for this uh, blocked account and all, correct? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So now let's get a little bit more, uh, you know, post-experience part. How was your first experience when you landed in Germany? Did you face any cultural shock or did you learn anything? Okay. Yeah. Uh, the first day, I think, uh, actually for my university in my like particular, my Hochschule Bonn Rense, they have a, like a uh, one program, like study buddy kind of program. So I don't know. It's like specific to my university. Or not. So they assigned uh, one like senior student, like from second year, they assigned one study buddy to the new students, like uh, new grade, uh, like freshers, like first semester. So th- uh, that uh, senior or that my study buddy helped me a lot in like uh, uh, where to uh, where to like uh, take a train, where to like depart, or where to take a tram and bus and all, and how to reach your dorm. So in that way, like my university, like. That study buddy uh, guy helped me a lot. Yeah. Oh, that's a very good initiative by the university. Yeah, 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 Everybody yes. really helps uh, yeah, yeah, that yes. way a lot. Good. Mm. So, what me? Uh, okay, this is something going to be you know between you and the foreign admin stuff. What is the happiest thing that you really liked when you were working with foreign admins? Anything positive uh, that you could pick out from the entire experience? And uh, yeah, one of the best positive things is about like, uh, as I already say, like the response, like if you are connected with your client, like uh, really quick, and if you respond to their queries really quickly, then it's like really, it really help the students as well, like or any, any customer in any customer segment. So that's the like the most, I would say the most based positive point about foreign admits it's not like uh, as i already said because if you contact some it's not in our education sector only if you go to any other like technology sales department you mail them and they'll reply after like uh, 36 hours or something so then it's not at all helpful right so that's uh, like the most about foreign admits like they are very customer centric so that is what i like most about uh, foreign admits and because they they assign like a individual uh, counselor or any individual mentor for single students student it's not like a, we are like in a batch we are like in batch of 10 or something and there's only one mentor for for each uh, that 10 students it's like one to one communication so it's like very specific nice yeah. so help me out like what has been your current achievement you know uh, now you are like you know how do I structure this? Okay. What have you been able to achieve since you're a part of the elite colleges in Germany? What is that difference? Are you able to feel that difference now? Uh, like in what exactly? So I was asking basically about your, uh, you know, any observed difference since you have landed into this university, um, any specific difference that you found out? In like your own lifestyle or in your own academics, in your own career path, but how this university has been able to contribute to you? Uh, I think uh, regarding the uh, education stuff, like academic wise, I really like the way they like uh, they teach uh, subjects and like they particularly explain the theories and concept and practical things. It's like totally different than what we already studied in India because they are like more towards like practical side and even and specifically my subject, my area is like robotics. So like they have dedicated like two or three labs. It's like a work lab, home lab. So they're like they're like bunch of 10 to 15 PhD students in each of the lab and they run, and basically they they are the like leader in that lab. So they uh, they design the assignments based on like practical robotics sensor data and, and everything. And we need to figure out like how to 
calculate uh, like path and like ro robotic motion and uh, vision thing and AI and machine learning thing. So they like uh, take some chunks from the, the research thing. They put it in our assignment. And now you have like one week of time, finish it and submit it online. Then they will give you like a specific like line by line feedback on our assignment. So this is like a totally different than what I studied or what, how I did assignments in India. <laughs> and this way, like, this is not like a, where I'm doing something like a, some hypothetical data and something. It's like practical data. There is collected data from robot sensor. And now I, I need to do some post-processing on it and figure out the result and, and get the, the output. So that way, I think the education, uh, this way, like I, I learned the most, like what is actually happening, how I'm applying my algorithm and how it like working in the practical sense. Interesting. So I really like that way. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think it's a major uh, change in terms of our own academic learning, the way we learn in hmm. India. Uh, you know, specifically the assignment part is you just took the words out of my mouth. It's a pretty big difference, right? Now, Okay, so help me out, like, if you have any specific message to give to all the, you know, students, probably from your city or hometown, I, I believe you come from Gujarat, a lot of people, you know, aspire to study abroad in Gujarat, and also a lot of Indian students who are planning to study abroad. What is that message for you from your own experience till date, you know, for them to study abroad or specifically even in studying Germany? Uh, like if you are coming to Germany, then like uh, you have first of all you have to like uh, make uh, like make your mind that you have to work, you have to study hard. That's the like first point. If you can't, if you don't, if you like uh, can't work on something patiently, and if you can't work like uh, ten or eleven hours a day, then it's Germany is like uh, uh, and specifically German public university is not for you. Because if you are coming to Germany, then they expect, expect you to work hard on your area of interest. Like if I'm in robotics, so you have to be like a work, uh, like put your 101% effort in, in, in that field. So if you can work hard, if you can study for uh, like 10 hours a day, and then the Germany uh, is public universities are for you. So be prepare yourself, like, in, like uh, choose your field wisely. It's not like uh, do it for, uh, I just want to finish my, I just want to get MS degree or something from abroad. It's not like that, like they, uh, because education is, they take education very seriously here. Because it's like a foundation for the, the next generation, right? So if you are coming to Germany, then like, uh, like prepare your mind to do, like hard work and like uh, enjoy your study like if you yeah, like enjoy what you are interested in then only like come to germany yeah so because that is what i feel right now here in germany if you are but if you are interested in that field then you are then then then, then you, are, you are very well in, uh, in german public university absolutely the work becomes play once you are really interested in that yeah, so, yeah, yeah. truly said so for all the students, don't just go after the degree or that abroad thing. Plan your education, be it Germany, be it US. Germany definitely gives you, I would say, uh, some relaxation on your tuition fees, but other countries are not, right? So even mm -hmm. whatever countries that you're planning, definitely plan wisely. Take help of mentors, consultants, counselors, whoever you want to work with. Even if you want for an admin to help you out, we are more than happy to help you out and all of those things are there. But yes, Kevin, first of all, thank you for coming uh, on this short notice and sharing your insights into, uh, about Germany. And I'm already like feeling really happy that you are you know, proceeding in a more conscious way uh, to your education. And I'm sure you would be doing great wonders. You already have a lot of mentors in Germany. So we'll definitely help you, you know, connect to all those mentors and all. We're definitely coming up with the FA Creators and Ambassador programs. So I look forward to seeing you more often on our admits forums and platforms. Thank mm. you, Kevin. Thank you. And have a great, successful career ahead in Germany. Thanks. Thanks. Well, actually, there are a lot to say, but I, I, I don't have enough time. So.
<laughs> because like the foreign admit is like uh, and the one thing uh, that uh, why foreign admits is different from other uh, counseling uh, companies in india the way foreign admit works with the student is like one to one connect one to one connection that really uh, apart uh, that really like separate uh, foreign admit from other counseling services in india so i really like this point like one to one connection is really the key point for in foreign admits absolutely i think the root came from you know the people's own experience i was a study abroad aspirant just like you i think 4 5 years back and uh, what i felt missing is what we are trying to fill the gap in in the industry so mm-hmm. glad again that we had this conversation uh, i'll definitely uh, be connected i think we are connected on linkedin 